everybody. Hey, how you doing today? My name is Geneva of Geneva's Closet. I hope you're having a happy Wednesday. Are you having a wonderful Wednesday? I'm trying to come on at this time. I was supposed to be coming on at 12 lunchtime, my time, but I was busy. Then I just got a phone call. Hey, Peach, how you doing? Hey, everybody, how you doing? Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this video. And then for the people who don't know, there's like a little bell or something for notifications or something make sure you click that so when i come on you can know so we can be here people hey sharon hey don hey t lovely how you doing today people and please i'm going to say this at the beginning of the enter the beginning of this video hey ct um please go follow me on facebook people please go follow me on facebook hey maria hey akeem I'm doing wonderful. I hope you're doing wonderful too. Make sure you go follow me on Facebook at Geneva's Closet. Now, the reason why that is important is because I do a lot of um, call to actions, especially since I'm doing a lot of live streaming now on YouTube. Hey, Essence. Oh, beautiful name. Beautiful name. Since I'm doing a lot of live streaming on here, that means I'm not... Um, showing y'all information like how I used to when I was originally putting the videos up when you all first came on here to see me. So when I'm talking about a lot of things, links, pictures, information, I post that on my Facebook page. So you get to hear me here, but you get to see the tee hee hee over there. Hey, Monica, so make sure you go follow me on Facebook, Geneva's Closet, Geneva's with an S, Closet with two T's. People, I told you if you put one T, I don't know where you're going. I think somebody with fashion or something. I'm not sure, but I don't do that. Hey, Caroline. Hey, Penny. My plan was to come over here and have lunch with you all, so let's have lunch. I'm not eating, but let's have lunch. I would have been on probably like an hour early, but then Essie called, then I got another phone call, and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, so this whole update, and it is an interesting update. So if you all remember, last video, Essie put the information up first before I did. There was a lady, a woman, who came forth. Hey, Joyce, and her name, she's saying, is Rena Houston. Rena Houston came out alleging that she was the daughter. This is what she said. She said she was the daughter of Whitney Houston, the oldest daughter, the one before Bobby Christina. She said, I'm telling you what she said. I didn't say that she said this. She said that her brother... Um, Michael Houston, the one that went on Oprah during the interview when Bobby, I think when uh, Whitney Houston died, the one that admitted that he got Whitney started on the drugs, that one, this Rena Houston girl, she's saying that Whitney Houston as a teenager had got molested by Michael Houston and then she was sent off to have her baby and then the baby, which is Rena Houston, was put up for adoption. I didn't say that. That's what she said. And she said that Whitney wanted her and Sissy said you can have your daughter but then had lied to her and did all of these different type of things and then she never got her daughter back. Plus Rena is saying that Clive Davis got into the mix because y'all know that by that time, uh, by I think teenager age or something. I think Whitney was already signed with a modeling agency and she was doing her thing So this is what the Rena Houston girl said. I didn't say this is what she said So um, she said that she didn't see Whitney Houston. She said that she didn't know she knew she was adopted She said she went in and out of foster care. She said she was molested. She was abused tons of things happened to her The foster family she was it uh, was with did not really love her. That's what she said she said, and then one day someone told her something about your mom is here. And she was like, who are you talking about? Who, who, who? My adoptive mom? And they were like, no, we're talking about your biological mother. She's beautiful. Woo, woo, woo. And then she said she's seen her for the first time, if I'm not mistaken, <coughs> in 2012. And she said, this is what she said. She said, Whitney Houston and Bobby Christina came to her house. And uh, she said, she don't remember the age of Bobby Christina, but she said Bobby Christina was like whining. She was ready to go. She didn't feel comfortable. She said, this is not my sister. And then they end up leaving. Whitney Houston said that she was going to come back. Rena Houston said she did come back, but when she came, she was not there, okay? And then, this is what else she said. So I'm trying to tell y'all everything that she said so then I can tell y'all about the update. So then she said that at some point, okay, she ended up meeting Leola or Lola uh, Brown, which is Bobby Brown's sister. She ended up meeting Lola, what, Leola, whatever. Brown, which is Bobby Brown's sister. And um, Lola, I guess when... Bobby Christina was 
hospitalized when she was in a coma in the hospital, somehow got some DNA, some saliva or something from her, gave it to the Rena girl. This is what Rena said. Rena said then she took it, went, and went to go do a DNA test, and it came back that her and Bobby Christina were related, okay, that they were siblings. And she went and she gave all of that information, tons of information, to Essie Berry, civil rights activist Essie Berry. So this is what's going on. So what happened was that day before yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, I had commented on the video that Essie had did. So when I commented on it, of course, if people comment under my comments, the notifications kept popping up on my phone. So I happened to see a particular uh, comment under Essie's YouTube videos where there was a young lady who was saying some things about Rena. Now, it caught my attention because she was using different last names for Rena that I had not heard of, that Essie had not told me about. Now, mind you, I have not talked to Rena. Everything that I have heard about her has come from Essie. Okay, and then let me say this also that Rena or based on what Essie told me uh, or, or for what I can remember, she said that she was born in 79, but then all of my nosy um, subscribers, because y'all about as nosy as I am, y'all are, y'all went in there and did some serious research because my people was like, uh-uh, boo, she was born June of 1981, Geneva, and I guess y'all were right based on the update that I'm about to tell y'all. <coughs> so... Um, the lady was using, that was leaving the messages in a YouTube video, she was using different last names for Rena, and she was saying that she was the biological sister of Rena. And she said that her mother, it was her mother and Rena's mother, and that Rena was lying. Now, that's what she was saying in the messages. So I responded back to her, and I asked her, could she confirm it? Could she contact me through email? She contacted me through email, and I contacted her yesterday morning and this is what she said and her name and, and we're going to go by the name Maya okay so Maya said that uh Rena Houston was lying she said that Rena had been doing this for at least nine years she said that Rena did go and get her last name changed get her name changed to Rena Houston she said that Rena was a con artist that's what she said she said that Rena had married some older man back in the day, and they both were con artists. She said Rena was um, addicted to Whitney Houston. She said that if you went to uh, Rena's house or room or whatever right now, she said you would see posters and everything else up of uh, Whitney Houston. She said that, yes, they were adopted, and she said they were in foster care because of some things that her mother did. So she said that they all were because... Um, the sister Maya, before I actually talked to her, she has sent me a picture, and I put that picture up on Facebook yesterday. People, that's why I said go over to Facebook, follow me at Geneva's Closet. Uh, put the picture up on Facebook of she of her and the siblings. So the mother with the white shirt, with the white tank top, that is supposed to be the mother. And then the children in the back, the four siblings, that's supposed to be the kids. The youngest one, she said, is Rena. And then she told me that Rena's birthday was June 30th, if I'm not mistaken, 1981. So this is what she told me. She said that they were all in foster care. She said they had all been molested or abused for the most part. She said, but Rena had took it the worst and, you know, she had some mental issues or whatever going on. So, um, she said what was true was that Rena did actually contact Lola Brown, Leola Brown, y'all, just work with me here, people. Bobby's Brown's sister. She said that she actually did contact Bobby Brown, Rena, Bobby Brown's sister, and told her that she felt like that Whitney Houston was her mom, and that she said that Lola Brown, if that's her name, did actually go and get DNA from Bobby Christina to help Rena take the paternity test that she said that she took, that came back that said that she was actually you know, that her and Bobby Christina were actually siblings, which is making her think that she um, is, you know, Whitney Houston's daughter. So she said that those things actually did happen. Now, this is what I told her. I said, um, I said, well, can you confirm these things or is there anything else that you can do to confirm? Because what I wanted to do is because I had not spoken to Rena, Essie speaks to Rena. So Essie knows everything that Rena has said. So it would be only right for me to then pass Maya, the sister, the one that's saying that she's the biological sister of Miss 
uh, Rena Houston, pass that information on to Essie. So that's exactly what I did. Now, let me tell you this first. Before I passed that information on, before I had even talked to the sister, I had called Essie and I let her know, Essie, this girl was making some comments on the YouTube video. I seen that, I contacted her or told her to email me, so I'm just waiting for that, but this is what she said. So I told Essie that. Essie said she was going to go and tell Rena that, okay? Then guess what, people? Rena calls, uh, Essie calls me back eventually and tells me that Rena says that she do actually know that girl. So first of all, that means that I had not just found some random troll. You know how trolls, are, you know, that there's always somebody that's going to be like, that's not true. I don't believe that, you know, but that's not what I found. I had actually found somebody that knew what they were talking about. Because when I told Essie, then Essie told Rena. Rena confirmed that she knew her, but this is what Rena said. Rena said that no, that's not my biological sister. That is my adoptive sister. And they don't love me, they don't anything me. Because if anything, I asked them, could they show me some baby pictures of myself uh, back when I was a baby? And they said that they couldn't even show me baby pictures. What type of family is that? And you don't even have baby pictures of me. This is not what, this is not what I said, this is what Rena said. So Rena confirmed that she did know the girl Maya, but she said that that wasn't her, her real sister, that the whole family was her foster family, okay? Now, now I'm going back to when I'm having a conversation with the Maya girl, um, the Maya sister on the phone. Um, Maya tells me, she says, Geneva, not only, you know, can you talk to me? Hey, Katie's. But she said, you can also speak to my mother because she said my mother has absolutely no problem with telling what's really going on. She said, because our family is sick of this. This is what she said. She said, our family is sick of this. Every, you know, every time you look around, she going out there with these things, talking about Whitney Houston. She, you know, so I asked her, I said, but why Whitney? Of all people, she said, I, she said, that's who she has chosen now. She has chosen Whitney now. She said, I have always been with my sister. She said, my sister only lived a, um, a few blocks away. She said, I was just at my sister's house about two weeks ago taking her food shopping. She said, as a matter of fact, Geneva, if you want me to, she said, because I'm at work right now. But she said, tonight when I get off of work, I will go over there to her house and put her on Facebook Live and ask her, why is she doing all of this lying? And I was like, oh, real? Okay, then. All righty. But I told her, I said, you know what? Let's not do that right now. I said, do you mind if I pass your information on to Essie? Because I said, Essie is talking to Rena all the time. So Essie may have specific questions that she want to ask you based on some things that Rena has said. Do you mind? Do you mind? She said, nope, I don't mind. So that's what I did. I handed that information over to Essie. This was, this, this was yesterday. So the reason why I didn't come on yesterday to give this tea hee hee, because I had talked to Maya, Rena Houston's sister, biological sister, yesterday morning, probably about 8 o'clock Chicago time. So... I eventually talked to Essie uh, yesterday. Uh, well, I talked to her last night when she had finally spoken to Maya. And not only did she speak to Maya, but she spoke to Maya's sister. Now, let me tell you how this story goes. Okay? So, I guess... Um, I guess where the issue came in at was that when Essie spoke to the mother... <coughs> And Essie asked the mother, um, like, um, what hospital was Rena born in? Since the mother said that, yes, that's my biological daughter. Yep, she's mine. I don't know what she's talking about, Rena, whatever. She's my daughter. So Essie said, do you remember what hospital she was born in? And if I'm not mistaken, I think Essie said she gave about two or three different hospitals. That it was certain things about her that uh, Essie was saying that if you claim to be her mother that you think that you would know. I don't know if it was a birthday, but I'm for sure it was the hospital. Um, and I know Essie said that the sister stated that she was last night that when she got off of work, whatever, she was going to go over to Rena's house and, uh, call her or call Essie or something while she was over there. But, but she never did that. So I guess after Essie talked to her, there's still some things that she's not totally sure about because look, my whole thing is that I just want somebody to fully confirm this whole story. Because, um, because I heard somebody say that this whole story was piggy, 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 pigginning, piggybacking off of Essie. And what I want to say to that is that is, that's true. Ap, ap, yes. Good job. Because most of this media, entertainment, blogging, celebrity stuff, it really is pig, piggybacking. Just like when the story came out about Kevin Hart cheating on his wife, the first person picked it up. 
And then everybody after that went and told the story. So that's exactly what it was. But <coughs> it was an interesting story. How the hell do I not? When Essie told me, I was just as bad as shocked as y'all were. And when she told me, I was sitting up there too like, mm, okay. Ding, 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 ding. So somebody said that they're Whitney Houston's daughter. Okay. And then when Essie showed me the picture, I said, okay. There's a lot of celebrity lookalikes. That don't mean nothing, but it's just an interesting story. So I felt the need to come on here and let y'all know for some people who didn't know and maybe y'all hadn't seen whoever hadn't seen the Essie video already, then I said that I would make my video. But the thing about this situation is that I was never, the plan was never just to make this video and let y'all know about this situation that sounds unbelievable and then just leave it at that. Just leave it at that. No, when I find out something, then it's my job to let y'all know because I think we're all a little bit confused in this. Like, um, because, okay, the other day, the same day that I made that video telling this information, I had came on later that night. I erased that video because I was playing around with my laptop. In that video, I had mentioned things that I did not mention in that other video. Okay, one thing being, <coughs> did y'all... You have to go look on my Facebook page. Did y'all see the video of Lola Brown when she was on Inside Edition? Did y'all see that? Well, I hadn't either until I had started doing this. But let me tell you what it said. So there was, so I guess Lola Brown or Leola Brown, whatever, Bobby Brown's sister, had went on Inside Edition after Bobby Christina passed away. Mind you, Bobby Christina passed away July 26th of 2015. Now, she went on there to say that she felt like that Bobby Christina had died because she was starved and not because of the bathtub. She also went on to say that she felt like Nick Gordon, and y'all know who Nick Gordon is. Nick Gordon is the one who Whitney Houston brought in, who Bobby Christina was saying was her brother, but then when Whitney Houston passed away and then they had that reality show, y'all seen Bobby Christina with Nick Gordon on that time about that they was married and, and, and in, a, um, in a relationship. Now, Bobby Brown's sister said that she... Um, she said that uh, she felt like the Nick Gordon, no, she said that Nick Gordon was beating Bobby Christina, dragged her down the stairs, and knocked, and knocked two teeth out of her mouth. She said Bobby Christina weighed 93, 97 pounds, something like that. Now, mind you, this is not just some random her talking. This is inside edition. So... Inside Edition confirmed it because I guess Inside Edition had Bobby Christina's um, death record. Go check it out. Go to my Facebook page. And Inside Edition said not only was she like 93, 97 pounds when she fell out, she had, um, when she died, she had bruises on her and two of her teeth was missing. What the hell? I had never even heard that. I was shocked. I was like, are you serious? So that's what's really going on. Who knew? I had no idea. Now let me go on to say some other thing because I just found this to be very interesting. And this is what I mentioned in my other video that I had end up erasing. Did y'all see the thing um, that Bobby Brown has said? Bobby Brown has written a memoir, just in case you didn't know, and it's called Every Little Step. And in this memoir, he speaks of the whole situation between him, Whitney Houston, Bobby, uh, Bobby Christina, and everything. Because when this memoir came out, there was a quote or something from Sissy Houston, Whitney Houston's mom, saying that she basically couldn't believe that he would come out with this information saying this. But Bobby Brown said that his purpose of coming out with this memoir is because he said that he wanted to tell his side of the story. But let me tell you something. The man kept it funky. That's the thing about it. He didn't go in that line making it seem like it was just Whitney. Whitney was just on a drug. She was the one that was an addict and he was better, trying to better himself. That's not what he said. He blasted himself. Matter of fact, after I read that, I was just like, oh, Tito with Bobby Christina. She was set up for disaster. She was literally set up for disaster. This is what he said in so many words because I don't have nothing in front of me, so I'm going off the top of the dome. He said that 
Bobby Christina was in front of him and Whitney all the time when they did drugs. He said majority of the time, him and Whitney Houston was high when Bobby Christina was around. He said, as a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, he said he would try to keep Whitney, because he said Whitney would be super high. And he said he would try to keep her in the room, but she always kept trying to come out the room, but he couldn't stop her because she's Whitney Houston. He said there were many times that Bobby Christina had to pick her mother up, help her in the bed, sit her down and this is what Bobby Brown said in his book people this is what he said then he goes on to say that um, he said uh, with he said him and Whitney Houston's drug problem was was already bad but he said that when Whitney Houston had Bobby Christina he said he noticed that her drug uh, addiction went to a whole nother level now he said that he was assuming that it was probably because um, she had been sober for nine months, so she was just trying to make up for it. But he said that it had went went totally left. I don't even know was there a little time lapse because someone had called me. So um, Bobby Brown also went on to say that. Oh, he also went on to say that there was times that. Whitney Houston was doing drugs with Bobby Christina. He said that he walked in one day and it was Bobby Christina. It was that Nick Gordon boy. It was Whitney and a few of Bobby Christina friends. He said they was all sitting there smoking weed and stuff together. So by the time that the girl was on the damn reality show and we seen her looking all loop-de-loop, -loop, she was definitely loop-de-loop. -loop. Matter of fact, Bobby Brown said that Nikki, that Bobby Christina seen him hitting Whitney because he said that their relationship was a love-hate relationship. So he said there was many times that she even seen that. So come on now. This girl done dealt with all of this stuff. By the time she get in a relationship, no wonder she damn near dating her step god brother, I don't know, seems to be high and all of this stuff. Now, let me get to this part. Rena, remember Rena Houston, the woman that's alleging that she is Whitney Houston's uh, daughter? Rena is saying that of course, of course, Whitney would be, her drug addiction would have gotten worse or after um, would have gotten worse after Bobby Christina. She said, of course. She said that because Whitney was devastated once she thought about it and it set in, her guilt set in that she, yes, you have this other child, but you just gave away, years ago, you gave away, gave away Rena. That's what Rena said. So Rena said, yeah, that's true. Yes, that's true. My mother, drug addiction was very bad after Bobby, but it was because of her guilt. She had a lot of guilt and stuff inside. So, look, people, basically, basically what I'm trying to tell you in a nutshell is I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm getting the information, and how I get it is how I will give it back to you. If I find out anything, I will let you know. Because Rena, did I tell y'all this? I don't even know if I told you this. I forgot to even mention this. Rena also said, get this, people, that Whitney Houston is not Sissy Houston's daughter but Dion Warks, I, get, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm about done with this whole thing. I said, what? I said, wait, 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 wait. So you trying to tell me that she said that Whitney Houston is not Sissy Houston's daughter, but is Dion Warwick's daughter? I was like, now let me just, okay, okay, now, okay now let me tell you this. Now I just want to be honest with you because y'all know that I'm honest. I'm going to try to be as honest as I can, which is pretty damn honest. The first thing I said when I heard that, very first thing I said when I heard that was, um, I, I don't really think Dionne Ward is that cute, but I've always thought that Bobby, uh, 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 Whitney Houston was beautiful. So to me, it looked maybe a little more like she can be Sissy Houston's daughter than Dionne Ward. Now, that's just my opinion. She can be beautiful is, is, is an eye of, of the beholder, but this beholder didn't have, has never really thought that Dionne Ward was that cute. But then Essie said to me, she said, but Geneva, doesn't Whitney Houston body frame kind of resemble Dion's? And I said, you know what? You got a point there. You got a point there. Because Whitney Houston is tall and skinny, was tall and skinny, and Dionne Ward is tall and skinny. So I said, okay, you know, I don't, I, I, you know like I don't really know. I, I don't know, but okay, I guess we can go there. But this is what um, Essie also brought out, okay? This is what else she said to me. She said, now, Geneva, now, if that is the case, 
and Whitney Houston is really Dionne Ward's and not Sissy Houston's daughter, then that would kind of confirm how come it seems as if Sissy Houston hasn't really been there to protect Whitney Houston, if, if this story is correct about all of this molestation. Okay, people, that's where I'm going in with this story. It don't appear that Sissy Houston was there to protect Whitney Houston or Bobby Christina. She seemed to be more like she protecting her son. Why? Because if, um, if Michael Houston really did molest Whitney Houston, then did nothing happen to him. And then I didn't even tell y'all this. I forgot to tell y'all this. No matter of fact, I, I did mention this to y'all because I told y'all that it was um, that um, I had did some research and I had found a private investor. I had found a blog that had some comments connected to it. And in the comments, it was one particular person that was commenting that was sticking out to me. And it was this lady who said that she was a private investigator. No, no, no. She said she was basically, basically like a DCFS worker for Bobby Christina. Cause she said that Michael Houston had molested Bobby Christina when she was nine years old and gave her chlamydia. Now, the reason why this particular, um, these comments stuck out to me from this one person is because they just went into details. It was very detailed. That's why you need to go to my Facebook page if you want to read that. That was about two days ago, so you're going to have to go back a little bit. But it, it was just very, you know. So with that being said, that's why I guess Essie and, and you know, Essie was trying to say, well, maybe if it is true, then that would make sense because then Sissy Houston did not protect her daughter or her granddaughter against a molester, if that's really what Michael Houston did. It seems as if, and then that would probably be because that was not her daughter and her granddaughter. That would be her niece. Would that be her niece? Wait, let me get this straight. Yeah, it would be her, no. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I'm so damn confused at this point because I because I was trying to figure out how Dion Warwick and whatever and Whitney Houston was related anyway. And then it dawned on me. No, I did some research and seen that Sissy Houston and Dion Warwick's sister are siblings. And I think the Sissy, Sissy Houston parents died when she was young. And if I'm not mistaken, her father passed away last when she was 18 years old. So she went to go live with the Warwick family, which was her aunt slash cousins. And because it mentioned her aunt was Lee Warwick. So I, I'm assuming that that's uh, Sissy Houston's sister. And she was there with her cousin. So that's what she was raised with. So so when I read that, I was like, okay, so she was raised with the Warwick. So if she was raised with the Warwick's, there's a chance that maybe this story, I, I don't know. I, I have the slightest idea. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just getting the information and then I'm giving it to you all. But uh, it's definitely some red flags and stuff too. And my opinion is that you can never... Never in the history of life can you come on social media or come to anybody, I don't give a damn who you come to, talking about that you are the daughter of Whitney Houston without some serious proof. And I don't mean just some pictures. I do not mean them pictures because I'm just going to keep it funky with all of you. Some of them pictures look like they were made up. Now, that's just my opinion. Some look real. And some looked like they could have been photoshopped. Now, I don't know. I was not there. I didn't take the pictures. I didn't even present the damn pictures. I presented them after they was presented to me. But, you know, so I just felt like, that, you, you know, you can't come with a claim like that. And then, plus, people love Whitney Houston. Don't nobody give a damn about her damn drug problem. Drug problem or not, everybody got damn problems. It wasn't my life. I just loved her because she was a wonderful singer. And I, and, and I felt sad when she passed away. And then I felt even... Even worse when I found out that her daughter passed away. So it's never my intentions to come on here and blast anybody that's, that has passed away. But the fact of the matter is that it came out in social media land through Essie. So I just found it my, me, my media blogger, talk show host, journalist, commentator, YouTube YouTuber duty to come on here and present the information the way Geneva presents it. Hello, get back. That's what I'm talking about, people. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe it. Because there's people out there talking about that Whitney Houston is a man. Because I just seen a video the other day that said that she's really a man. I can't confirm any of that stuff because I don't know. I'm just telling you what this uh, lady said, this Raina Houston. And we're going to find out what's going on. Because Essie said that she was going to uh, try to contact the sister again. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all this. Now, y'all know that when I heard... 
Because, wait a minute, a few people have con confirmed this whole situation with Bobby Brown's sister. So it wasn't just Rena who said that she had met Bobby Brown's sister and got some DNA from Bobby Christina from her. No, 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 no. It was also the girl who's saying that she's Rena's biological sister. She said, you know, like she was saying that some things wasn't true, but she said the foster care part was true and she said the Bobby Brown sister DNA part was true and not only that there's another name that has been brought up in this whole saga that I I don't remember the name y'all gonna have to wait till Essie make the video because anything that she got to say on this whole thing would probably be a little more because she going because she's talking to the people she's talking to everybody you know um, I've only talked to her so far and to the supposed sister but um what was I about to say? What was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying because I because I completely forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Can somebody help me? Y'all know I do that sometimes. From time to time, I forget what I was saying. But a few people have confirmed that the whole Lola Brown situation. So what I did was I contacted, I found Lola Brown, Leola Brown on Facebook day before yesterday, and I sent her a Facebook message. And a Facebook message, in so many words, said that Rena Houston contacted civil rights activist Essie Berry, claiming to be the daughter of Whitney Houston. She also said that she, t she has talked to you and that you gave her the DNA of Bobby Christina to have the DNA test done. In addition to me seeing you on Inside Edition making claim, that's what I had forgot to tell y'all. In addition to the stuff that Lola said on Inside Edition, she also said that she had her rumors that Whitney Houston had a daughter in high school at a teenage age that she gave up for adoption. Uh, Bobby Brown's sister said in that Inside Edition little interview thing that she had heard of a young lady that was saying that she was the daughter of Bobby Brown and that she was willing to do whatever she could do to help. So the fact that there's a few people confirming this whole Lola, the Leola Brown situation and she was on Inside Edition saying that and let the record show, I'm just saying to let it all show, that when I went on her fa uh, Facebook page just the other day, like just a few days ago, she was on there promoting her new book. And what is the book about, you ask? Her basically spilling the tea and giving the whole details about what was really going on with Whitney Houston. So, my opinion, I'm just giving my opinion this. Um, I don't even know if Lola probably has some things against the Houstons. Just because she feel like the Houstons was, you know, being kind of mean with them with the whole Bobby Christina thing. And then the Houstons were trying to do every, you know, you blast Bobby Brown, try to put the whole thing off on Bobby. Didn't want to really make it seem like that Whitney had anything to do with anything. So I don't know if she got something against with that whole situation that she's still in 2017 writing a book or whatever about Whitney Houston. But I'm just telling y'all what I seen and what I know. So there go all the information that I got for the most part in my brain that I can remember in a nutshell. And I done took it and I gave it to you. So all you can do is you can make your own conclusion from it. I don't know. We can talk about it together. Send me a message. We can talk about this together, together boo. But that, that's basically what I got for you, people. That is what's going on in this land. That is what's going on. And right, and then somebody mentioned, that's true, Penny. Somebody mentioned Robin just the other day on my Facebook. They was like, where the hell is Robin? Nana. Uh, shout out to Nana. Did I say that, Nana? Shout out to Nana. I just have to remember to say that because one of my subscribers, Nana. I hope I'm saying that right. Shout out to Nana and the crew because one of my subscribers gave me a ring-a-ding the other day. And she was um, so nice. And the things that she had to say were the sweetest things. I appreciate all my supporters. And she prayed for me on the phone. Now, how many people do that? And it was a beautiful prayer, too. Not just any old prayer. We're going to try to get this prayer over in about five seconds or less. It was a sincere prayer. So I just want to say shout out to you, Nana. I appreciate you, girl. You and the crew, thank you for supporting Geneva's Closet. But, yeah, that's basically all the tea that's going on here, people. So make sure you go follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Geneva's Closet. Go and, 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 like, don't just stop there. Like, why would you even stop there? Go to my, to my website and follow me at, uh, on genevascloseent.com and genevascloseent.net. 
Oh, you said Gary gonna tell it? Gary, is he gonna tell it? Because with Pat tell it? Because ain't Gary ma married to Pat? Just in case, but you know, Gary is the oldest brother of Whitney Houston. The oldest brother. And then there's Michael Houston. And then there is Whitney Houston. I don't know. So do you think that he would tell? Like, would Pat try to get that information out there? Would people want people to know about the Rena girl? Is Rena lying? Is she telling the truth? Inquiring minds want to know. I guess we'll see um, more that this uh, thing opens up. But like I said, my opinion, again, the true T he he that really can damn near be confirmed is the whole situation with Bobby Brown's sister. Because that situation, let's keep it real funky. Let's keep it funkity funky. Bobby Christina was in uh, in, 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 in a coma. So how did they get that DNA? Huh? How did they in, in a coma? Okay. And many people have confirmed that. So that may be the true tee right now in this story. But we'll see. We don't know. I don't know. I can't confirm anything. Partial I can, but not really. But anyway, people, that's what I want to come on here for. Thank you so much for following and supporting Geneva of Geneva's Closet, people. You have a fabulous, wonderful... Why are you... Me, me too, Joyce. Me too. Me... Every time I talk to Essie, I... You know... Essie got it down like this. That's why I said when she tells it, you may need to get a pen and pad because she's just really good with things. She can spit it out really quick, but. Yes, but anyway, because I'm just sitting up here staring at people, <laughs> staring at people comments. Yes, thank you all to my support supporters, all my subscribers, new and old. Again, thank you for following and subscribing to Geneva, Geneva's Closet, people. You have a fabulous Wednesday. Bye.